Once again, we are live from St. Cletus. I'm Mr. Parad, the principal here at St. Cletus School, along with Mrs. Schaefer, our assistant principal. And as we look outside, we see the snowflakes coming down and kind of think to ourselves, what happened to summer and what happened to our warm fall season? But with that in mind, we have kicked off our Red Ribbon Week and we have some activities planned for the students. Mr. Schaefer, you wanna share some of those activities we have planned? I sure do, Mr. Parad. We love Red Ribbon Week this year. We're taking it a little calm because Halloween is part of it and that's a very exciting time for us. So today we are just in our regular uniforms, just taking it easy, learning a little bit more about Red Rib Ribbon Week. Tomorrow we're gonna be in uniforms with those crazy socks. We all love to see what craziness comes out of our feet. <laughs> And then Wednesday, we'll be in regular uniform with crazy hats. Those are gonna be a lot of fun too. We get to Thursday and I can't wait for that because I just get to roll out of bed and come to school in our pajamas because it's pajama day. And that brings us to Friday, Halloween, where we get to wear our costumes. It'll be a lot of fun. Remember to keep those props at home, but we'll be in our costumes to have fun. And that brings us to the afternoon when we're going to have our Halloween parade outside. And, and, and the great afternoon it's going to be uh, along with the Halloween parade, we're going to have our haunted car yard. And thank you to all of the parents and the families that are able to have some afternoon time for us and be able to decorate their vehicles. So as the students parade around the school, they'll also be able to enjoy some of the decorated cars. So once again, for all the families and parents that are able to either be off work or able to participate in the haunted car yard, thanks again for you know, that opportunity. That does lead us also to our, our Day of the Dead offer, altar, as you could see on display behind us. Um, as we continue to enrich and educate our students of the, of the various cultures and, and various traditions, this is one of the traditions that we have been embracing here at St. Cletus. We actually have one of our, or three or four of our students, I should say, who will actually be speaking a little bit about what the Day of the Dead altar is all about. We also would like to thank our Spanish and computer teacher, Mr. Frank Ochoa, for working behind the scenes and, and pulling, this, pulling this all together for us. So now we have a few junior high students who will be talking to us about information regarding our Day of the Dead. On the holiday known as the Day of the Dead, families welcome back the souls of their deceased relatives for a re reunion that includes food, drink, and celebration. Ofrendas are decorated with sugar skulls, religious artifacts, and photographs of the deceased. A blend of Mesoamerican ritual, Catholicism, and Spanish culture, the holiday is celebrated each year on the 1st and 2nd of November. The roots of the Day of the Dead go back some 3,000 years to the rituals honoring the dead in the pre-Columbian Mesoamerica. The Aztecs and other Nahua people living in what is now Central America saw death as an integral, ever-present part of life. In medieval Spain, people would bring wine and spirit bread to the graves of their loved ones on All Souls Day. They would also cover the graves with flowers and light candles to illuminate the dead souls way back to their homes on earth. In the 16th century, Spanish conquistadors brought such traditions with them to the new world. El Dia de los Muertos remains important in contemporary culture, both in Mexico and beyond. The encounter between the living and the dead affirms the desire to not only embrace death, but also to remember those who left an important mark in our lives and who are now at peace. Thank you, gracias. And finally, that leads us to once Halloween ends and we get through our, our Day of the Dead, um, we also have time for re-enrollment. Now this year, re-enrollment will be starting in November, and basically what re-enrollment refers to is any of the students that are enrolled this school year, you will have an opportunity during re-enrollment time and beyond to sign up your child for next school year. And that's so very important to us because based on the student sign up and our student enrollment, we're able to determine our, our staffing needs, which is, is very critical and becomes a little bit of a challenge once we, if we do not have all the students re-enrolled for next year in determining our, our staffing needs. So more information on re-enrollment will be, will be coming out. Mr. Pratt, I, I wanna echo that statement. 
we, we love to have all of you re-enroll as soon as possible. It's so important for us, and it makes our life much easier, I must say. Also, Mr. Pratt, I don't want to forget November 14th. It's going to be a big day. We have a big comedy night. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our Father's Club, yeah. they are sponsoring our comedy night on November 14th. You can register and purchase your tickets online, or you can send in a form that was sent home in our Wednesday envelope. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. And what's so important about our comedy night, Mrs. Schaefer, it's, it's truly a fundraiser for the school. You know, we didn't have our fall fest this past fall here at St. Cletus, and we have a number of staff members and parents that volunteer for the fall fest, and it's, it's the parish and the school and the entire community coming together to celebrate the St. Cletus family. But without having that this past fall, we're now looking for other means of raising money for our, our, our school and for our students. So please consider participating and get the good news and the good word out about our comedy night on November 14th to all of your family and friends. And finally, we just received some information from the Archdiocese of Chicago towards the end of last week that the two weeks after our Christmas break, as an Archdiocese, we are gonna be moving to a remote learning format. And the remote learning format will take place until uh, the day after Martin Luther King Day, which will be the Tuesday after Martin Luther King Day, that we will return back to school. But rest assured, there'll be more information coming out regarding that. So keep in mind, once we go on to Christmas break, we will then <clears throat> extend our Christmas break until the Tuesday after Martin Luther King Day. So we want to keep everybody healthy and safe, most importantly. Right, Mr. Pratt, and I do want to clarify, your break is not extended. School will start uh, the Wednesday. I don't recall the date. I'm so sorry. Um, school will start for us, I believe it's Wednesday the 6th on Janu of January, and it will be remote until that Tuesday after Martin, Martin Luther King Day. And thanks for the clarification. We're not <laughs> extending break. It's no. just that students will be away from school until the Tuesday right. after Martin Luther King Day. So with all that being said, um, we usually end with, remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a cardinal. cardinal. You, you bet. bet. Well, thank you for joining us and for Mrs. Schaefer, our assistant principal, and entire, our entire staff here at St. Cletus School and our parish staff as well. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mr. Parad, the principal. Have a great day and, and God bless. If what I am is what's in me, then I'll stay strong, that's who I'll be. And I will always be the best me that I can be. There's only one me, I admit. Have a dream, I'll follow it. It's up to me to try. Oh, I'ma keep my head up high. Keep on reaching high. Never gonna quit, I'll keep it stronger. And nothing's gonna bring me down. Never gonna stop, gotta go Because I know I'll keep it stronger And what I am is thoughtful And what I am is musical And what I am is smart And what I am is And what I am is helpful And what I am is special There's nothing I can achieve Because in myself I believe in those Gonna keep all it to pile Keep on reaching high Never gonna quit just keep getting stronger And nothing's gonna bring us down Never giving up, gotta go Because I know I'll keep getting stronger What I am is What I am is What I am is What I am is What you are is What you are is There's nothing I can achieve Because of myself